Hello, my name is Larry Douglas. I'm a pastor in Waynesburg, Pennsylvania. I have a quick illustration for you. I want you to imagine that those train tracks behind me represent your past. Where you came from, your days, your years, your experiences, both good and bad. Now I want you to turn with me into the future. I want you to imagine that those train tracks in the other direction represent where you're going. The future, your eternity. I want you to know something. As surely as I'm standing here on these train tracks, as surely as a train just passed by not more than five minutes ago, there will be another train, not too long from now, probably pulling a hundred cars filled with coal, very heavy. I'm going to have to move. I'm going to have to take some action. As surely as I'm standing here, Jesus will come again, and you'll need to be ready to meet him. Are you ready? Are you ready to meet the Lord Jesus? Jesus said, In my Father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go, I will come again. I want you to know something. You need to be ready for that. I'm going to give you the short gospel, which is, God loves you, but he knows that all of us have sinned. Jesus died for you and for me, for all of us. And if you receive Christ as Savior, you can be forgiven. Let me say that again. God loves you. But he knows that you have sinned and I have sinned. All have sinned and fallen short of the mark of perfection, the mark of holiness that God demands. Jesus died a substitutionary death. He took your punishment upon himself. And if you will call on the name of the Lord, you can be saved. Make no mistake, he is coming again, and you need to be ready. I pray with all of my heart that if you have not received Messiah Jesus, Shepherd Jesus, as your Lord and Savior, that today would be the day that you would. Again, those train tracks, I don't know how many days or months or years you have left, and I can't even tell that about myself. I just know that there is a limited amount of time that all of us get. In the meantime, we need to have received Jesus as Savior. If you have any questions at all about the Gospel, about the Bible, how to be sure that you know you're ready to meet God, I want you to write me at preacherman23.ld at gmail.com or contact me on Facebook. In any case, I pray the Lord's blessings rest upon you.